the New York Times did an expose in the spring of 2016 on one of the maximum security prisons in the state of California. And they talked about how the United Nations has determined that solitary confinement for any length of time beyond 15 days is a form of torture. Well, in the United States, we keep prisoners in solitary confinement for as long as 44 years. This New York Times expose in California was talking about a solitary confinement system where you literally have no contact with any other human being. When you receive mail, for example, you don't actually get the mail. There's a computer monitor hanging from the ceiling of your cell, of your six foot by 10 foot cell, out of reach so you can't damage it in any way. They'll put your correspondence on the screen for five minutes, you stand there and read it, and then it's taken off. And that's it. The only visitors you're allowed to have are your attorneys, and even they are restricted to once a month. You're allowed one phone call a month. It's monitored, of course, live. You're allowed two showers a week. Your meals are provided to you through a slot in the door. Every one of these cells, and I know this because I was in solitary confinement, every one of these cells has a small door at the back, and that door leads to a cage that's outside. Now, the cage in my case was another six by 10 feet. And so you can either walk around in a circle or in an oval in your indoor six by 10 cell, or one hour a day, go outside into the cage and walk in a six by 10 foot circle. That's enough to drive the sanest man insane. At this California prison, things got so desperate that prisoners were smashing windows and eating the broken glass just so they could go outside for medical care and speak to another human being. 